Hearing occurs in the temporal lobe of both hemispheres, the green and some of the pink parts of the brain in this image. Language comprehension is mostly in the left hemisphere. Here it's shown in the brown-orange region that responds to known words, and Broca's area, the pink bulb, which produces speech. Note that a person could hear but not understand or understand but not speak if Broca's area is damaged. As with every other normal infant, this baby's curiosity leads to taste and then to a slow reaction from puzzlement to tongue out disgust. Her responses demonstrate that the sense of taste is acute in infancy and that quick brain perceptions are still to come. The ability to be comforted by touch is one of the skills tested as a newborn with the Brazelton Neonatal Behavioral Assessment Scale. You can look at the chart on page 94 for additional information about age norms for gross motor skills, but also just remember, just because a baby does, may or may not fall into these norms doesn't necessarily mean they're behind or advanced. Um, babies kind of will find a way to catch up in their own time. Um, this, uh, you can see the chart on page 95 again for more information on these motor skills. Sensory motor intelligence is a term that uh, Jean Piaget um, determined for the way infants think, um, which is pretty exciting in this first. They're using their senses, they're using their motor, so feeling everything, touching everything, putting things in their mouth. This is all how they're making sense of the world and understanding what's around them.